Well, Doug was working with the gang kids for a number of years, probably six or seven before um, we came along. My wife and I, Sarah, my <laughs> ex-wife and I, Sarah. My sister, who had been a Christian for many years and had known Doug, was actually in one of the youth groups. The youth group, when, when the kids invaded, um, said, well, Sarah, you need to go meet this Reverend Doug guy. Because mm -hmm. one of the things community organizers do is they network with pastors and, 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 and like that. And she met Doug and they naturally connected. Mm -hmm. And they started working together, doing, uh, developing a, a something they called Sunset Park Employment Action Council, mm -hmm. which is a group of of kids that you know were wanted to work. And and basically the program was we put to, we got a T-shirt made and mm -hmm. we put out flyers and advertised we want to work. We'll do all sorts of odd jobs, that sort of thing. Um, I came alongside and was really fascinated by the work. What what really brought me into discipleship and a, on a larger scale, I saw something in Doug that I never saw with anybody else. I saw the unconditional love of Jesus mm -hmm. in the way that he worked with these kids. Doug's love was 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 really whatever they needed, he was going to respond, whether mm -hmm. it meant if he got a phone call at three o'clock in the morning, you didn't get an answering machine. Mm -hmm. You got Doug. And the only question that he would ask was not, what do you think you're doing calling me at three o'clock in the morning? But it was, can you come to me or should I go pick you up? 